Hey everyone, welcome to the Showbiz Pop 5. I'm your host, Whitney. I'm Lauren Anderson, and I came here to say the tea in paradise is hot, but the tea in Rome is far hotter. (laughs) What's happening off screen is much more spicy than what we saw last night. And what we saw last night, well, it won't be last night when you watch this. What we saw this week was pretty spicy with Shanae coming back and exploding on Logan. And I was like, yes, she's returned to her true form as a villain and she's going to explode all over the beach. Yeah, I honestly, I felt bad for like all of the girls that they took away and had in that hotel and then like sent back one by one to just like fall apart. It's really, I I mean, obviously we've talked about this. They know what they're signing up for, but Mm. mean, it's so mean. It's really mean. Like if we're like we're gonna test out these relationships that have been together for three days, it's like why don't you just give them a chance to see if that relationship works before you throw in new people? It's kind of kind of disgusting, but we're not here to talk about that. We're no. here to talk about Victoria F. Victoria Fuller, which I did not watch her season, so apparently she was a villain on her season because her friend showed up. I mean, was she? The one of the, she was, she made it kind of close to the end and the date that it was a hometown. She made it to hometowns actually, because the hometown date that she went on, it was like some country singer that I'm blanking on the name of. Chase Wright. Okay. Yeah. She like knew him, flirted with him previously. I don't know. And that then then became a whole thing. Right. But then her friend or ex-friend showed up who had also dated Peter. Showed up. <laughs> yeah, showed up. I mean, the producers were like, hey, are you busy right now? She signed the papers and was like, yes, I will. I'll start something. No yeah, problem. Absolutely. And what what an incestuous web they've woven, though, where we've got Peter who's dated one of Victoria's friends. I don't know. It's just all messy. Once Regardless. they get into the, like, I'm fully convinced once they get into, the, like, the bachelor pool... They just like all, I mean, because they have like shared experiences at that point. Yeah. They meet mutual friends. Then it's just, yeah, you're right. It's all hooking up with every tool. Gross. It's too much. Anyways, before, okay, let's start back. Before this weekend, this past weekend, we thought Johnny and Victoria were still engaged because we learned from Spoiler Guru Reality Steve that Johnny and Victoria, Johnny proposes to Victoria during this season of Bachelor in Paradise. And apparently, Despite that date that she went on this week and had a great time and was vibing with, yes, I don't know his Alex. name. Yes. 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 Despite that, we know that she ends up getting back with Johnny. That I, we thought all was good because Serene and Brandon are, are still engaged. Like we thought tons of stuff was, you know, A-OK. But then a TikToker is like, hold up. I just saw Victoria and Greg Grippo in Rome. And then everyone lost their minds because no, Victoria is engaged to Johnny, except she's not. Because then Johnny posted, I don't know what, if it was on Instagram, I think, or maybe a story. He was just sitting at a bar drinking beer by himself and it just (laughs) said, unwell. How am I doing? Not well. (laughs) Not great, Bob. (laughs) He, I will say though, I, she is starting to have a type because I feel like Johnny and Greg could be cousins or brothers. I don't know. They look very similar to me. The shaggy-ish hair type. Like yeah. Like shaggy, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like big round eyes. Neither are my types, but anyway. <laughs> but they, I don't know. Is Johnny like trying to be a rapper or something? Is that like his backstory? Is like he wants to make it in the music biz? I had not heard that, but I, that would not surprise me in the least everybody has a motive okay everybody yes. wants to be an influencer everybody's yes. yes wants to find love first and foremost but so everybody has a secondary goal reality steve was very adamant that he was not going to confirm anything until he knew for sure he was like he did Which not I respect i respect I that he's doing great this season with not doing that like i guess before before i really watched this show he had been like i guess he would just put out any rumor that was sent to him and so now he's like, no, no, I'm not going to get in trouble for this. I'm waiting until I, ha- I personally have confirmation. And that's what he's done. And he said in yesterday's blog post that someone sent him a DM on September 15th saying that Johnny and Victoria had broken up. But he didn't like mention a hint of that because he didn't want the masses to like pile on to that rumor. 
Right. Well, now he knows for sure that they are broken up and Johnny is in the States while Victoria was in Rome with Greg. Which I saw, there's insert blurry screenshots of Mm -hmm. the pictures that I did see, but the TikTok that I saw said, you know, they could be there romantically as a couple or they could be there on a business venture no. which no. Well, no. i'm sorry you don't stand that closely to somebody <laughs> they're on a business in what, rome of all places what business venture are you on that there's not at least you know four other people with you or whatever right no. it's it's a bachelor nation trip at that point and no, well, no, it is not <laughs> and reality steve let her have it today on yes he did podcast which Good for him, because I agree with him. Like, obviously, she's not hurting anyone physically by what she's doing, but she couldn't have waited. The finale tape, or the reunion tapes this Friday. Yeah, I'm shocked that they don't have them on a tighter leash. I mean, obviously, like, they can't be held prisoner by producers, but But they're out and about in the world. Right, knowing. I think they would do a little better covering that up. said that she was a callous and calculating person and i kind of agree like you don't break like they literally broke up less than a a little over a month ago already gallivanting around the world with some like i said you pointed this out too they're they form this incestuous like web they just hop they they all have these shared experiences and they just hop from one to another and which brings me to the next point that is not confirmed, but Dave Neal, who is a YouTuber comedian who covers The Bachelor, and he said that he had two sources that were very close to him that said that she had cheated on Johnny twice, and that's why he broke up with her. Mm. Interesting. I don't but love that. It has not been confirmed. That is right. just what Dave Neal is saying. Yeah, Reality Steve said something similar, like he's been told similar things, but nothing, no cheating rumors have been confirmed. I mean, how hard is it to just, you know, not date anybody for a little bit? (laughs) Or just call it off and then date whoever. Yeah. I don't know. I'd love the full story. Can't wait for her Instagram live or whatever this ends up being. The apology. Like a in story post. Yeah. yeah. Lengthy. <laughs> really yeah. looking the forward to it. Tour that's going to happen after this, which I don't buy any of that whenever they do that. So I no longer believe in any of you. You're all terrible. <laughs> that's how I feel. Even Michael A. So. Oh, Michael A. Don't get me started. I, I can't even talk about that man. <laughs> can't even talk about him with the giant i don't know looks like he's been in like a topiary on his face or something so much so much facial hair paradise baby yeah so that is the tea for victoria and johnny and greg grippo yes, the love triangle well and it's not really a love triangle anymore no just a line so. well, Womp womp. Sorry, Johnny. Better luck next time. Don't worry. You'll have a million chances to go on Bachelor in Paradise, I'm sure. Yeah. Next time. Next season. All right. That does it for this week. I want to tell everybody to follow us on all of our socials. You can find us on Twitter at Cheat Cheat. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Showbiz Cheat Cheat. And of course, we always want you to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. How do you feel about Victoria? Do you Are you pro-Victoria or anti-Victoria? Do you not have an opinion at all? You could just say that. I don't care. <laughs> like, literally, you could write. Just I don't. say it. <laughs> yeah. We would be happy to hear it. So I want to thank everybody for watching and I hope to tune in next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Later, guys.